Hello YouTube. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick video of my new AC that I just installed as my mini split unit. Um, I'm actually working on painting and doing a little bit of um, remodeling in this house but we put the new mini split in here to help cool an area about 800 square feet. Um, it's cooling my living room and my kitchen and I wanted to do a short video on how we're going to actually have this system installed. It's in front of my sewing machine and laptop. I apologize. But, uh, you know, every day we're doing something inside of the house, so I can't keep it empty. Um, on the outside, you guys probably seen the mini split before, but on this particular mini split, how I plan to install it <clears throat> is going to be a little unique. Uh, let me take you outside and let you see what we're going to do. Okay, back here, I wanted you to see our new mini split. This is the secondary part. I'm still wiring this thing up and running my uh, hoses and making it look neat. Right now it does not. I caulked it a little bit or put foam in there so it uh, wouldn't let any critters in. Anyway, here's what we're gonna use. That's gonna make it a little unique. This is the connection box. It's just a <coughs> disconnect. It's non-fused. Um, because I'm going to be using an inverter to actually power it. It's going to be independent of my 48 volt system inside of the house. Um, it's going to have its own different power system so it doesn't drain my batteries. Anyway, what I've done is I've already wired it for a uh, 240 um, volt generator plug. Um, I have a couple of generators that we use out here. and This one right now is rated, I believe, at 20 amps. Uh, the other one's rated at 30 amps, so, but the 20 amps are actually running this one pretty well because this is our 25 sear um, AC. It runs at about 1,000 watts uh, full load. Majority of the time it runs at about 600 to 800 watts. So, you know, the system I'm designing will run this fairly well. There's Chiquita. That's our puppy next door. Anyway, today I got in my new uh, package. Uh, Cut it over. As you guys know, Okay, as you guys know, most everything in my house is out back, and I'm going to MPP Solar for my next part of this uh, project. This is my new MPP Solar um, charge controller slash inverter that I'll be using to run my AC system. <clears throat> Comes with software manual, just now opening this thing. It's got a USB, looks like some power connectors. Um, the monitoring software and uh, this is what it looks like here just so you guys can see it okay this is what i'll be using to power my uh mini split h vac system <clears throat> it's rated at 2400 volt on um, 200 i'm sorry 2400 watts um it's a 24 volt system so I'll be doing a little bit of experimentation on this. I'm planning to use my supercapacitors to actually power the unit. Um, I estimated that I'll be able to release about 1,200 watts instantaneously at, uh, at 24 volts using the supercaps, or at least half of them. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use those to power the AC system. It's going to be a battery list system. It's going to be improvised a little bit. As you guys can see, this is made to plug into a 240 system. And uh, this mini 
uh, MPP solar inverter. It actually is rated for 240 at 60 hertz. It's actually rated for 60 and 50 hertz, but uh, it's being it's programmable, so I'm going to use it for our AC system here. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys informed. I'll post some pictures as soon as this is up, going up. I just wanted you guys to see what we were working on, and and if you like what we're uh, doing, or if you'd like to see more videos. Please comment and like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right, welcome back, YouTube. Just wanted to show you uh, my system that I just put in commission. Okay. Today I've been working on uh, some of my spare parts. These are my two 165 um, Elite Kyocera solar panels. I got a 285 hooked directly up to uh, my uh, super capacitors and um, 24 volt uh, golf cart battery bank. Um, the batteries are basically for nominal voltage to help with the charge in the capacitors. It doesn't um, actually carry a good load at all. Um, that thing's, those batteries are so dead they should actually be junk but I'm just waiting on the money to go ahead and buy some more so I can get a core charge but honestly this project is meant to help me uh, honestly keep from having to buy batteries at all because I'm using super capacitors so let's see how this is going to work so far I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised and I ignore the temporary setup I got this and I wrecked it on a bus bar I'm um, sorry pallet I got me a uh, disconnect switch for my batteries or my super capacitor going down to the bottom of this new MPP solar um, inverter charger. I have my uh, positive and negative hooked up. I have some extra wire that I've cut off from other solar panels and just connected it directly to the bottom of that. And then I have my 240 one out and I programmed this um, solar controller to work with 60 hertz so that I can power my AC system. But I ignore the mess. Um, I'm just going to look through the camera as I walk through. Got my voltmeter um, in amp meter mode right now. Uh, it was just basically telling me the current that I had coming from the uh, two capacitors at a given time. And what that runs is my Senville 25 sear uh, micro, uh, I'm sorry, mini split uh, air conditioner. And uh, so far it works pretty well kind of show you what I got set up here I am waiting on a, another um, set of capacitors to come in uh, I don't want to use my big 48 volts so I just kind of uh, split it up and made it into two 24 volt capacitors so I got another set of capacitors coming to help power this system now that I've proven that it works and again ignore the mess I just kind of in testing phase I run my things um, my electrical through testing wires uh, while I got you out here, I'm going to show you my 3 kilowatt and my 2 kilowatt. Right now, my system is in absorb mode. I put it in four, kilo, uh, four hours of absorb throughout the day. And because they're on two separate uh, charge controllers, for some reason, the 3 kilowatt array will go into absorb way earlier than my 2 kilowatt. So what I've done to kind of remedy it is actually I run uh, my water on mist on my four panels. Um, right here, it basically sprays water on there, and I get about 14 1500 watts as opposed to a thousand or 1100 watts when I don't run the water. Um, so I think it has something to do with the fact that the heat is derating my batteries. Um, I'm sorry, derating my solar panels and the power going to them. But um, that's another project that I'm working on. If you guys would like to see on that more on that, just comment and I'll definitely uh, do some playing around and tinkering around with that and let you guys see how that works out. But, you know, I thought it was kind of interesting that uh, water would make my second charge controller go into absorb mode by giving it more power to run with. Okay. You know, I'm not as clean as was set up as a lot of others. I'm still kind of in the middle of remodeling, so I've kind of ignored a lot of other things. But, man, I'm, I'm so excited about running these little solar projects, especially for YouTube and especially for myself. Um... You know, if you'd like to know what I've done, I can kind of help you. But right here, like I said, I got two 85 watts directly hooked up to each 12-volt um, set of batteries and capacitors. 
and then uh, those are wired up together in string for 24 volts that comes out of two units um, of wire they're just spare wire the white and black are by my white the black wire is my negative and something just happened on the charge controller I don't know what it was okay uh, turn it off, turn it back on. That's interesting. Error 5. That's the first time that's happened today. You know why? I think it's because I'm finally starting to get shade on these panels. Primarily, it's running off of my supercapacitor. I'm glad that I caught that on camera. I'm primarily running off my supercapacitors super right now. So uh, the solar panels are charging the supercapacitors. And as soon as that thing gets shade on, the voltage drops and whatever is inside pulling voltage is going to eventually drain those. So, um, you know, that's one uh, falling point to my um, power system. But, you know, this is in test phase and so now I have the erect it with its own solar panel bank um, and its own uh, capacitors and its own housing. Uh, to run just my mini split AC and so far like I said without much um, I've been able to run my mini split AC with those batteries and those capacitors uh, for at least the last